everyone, welcome back to JTL Lifestyle. I'm Joanne and I'll be doing an overview on this 5Joy portable multifunction backcountry rescue shovel. This 5Joy portable multifunction backcountry rescue shovel really does it all. It can be a shovel, morph into an axe, is equipped with a knife, flint, bottle opener, and more. The multifunction shovel measures 47.8 cm by 11.5 cm by 14 cm, which makes it very portable and it weighs 0.64 kg. The shovel head and handles are made from quality materials. You get aerospace grade aluminum handles and there's even foam padding for grip and comfort. The shovel head is made from imported high carbon stainless steel with a hardness scale of HRC 50 to 52. There's an image of climbers scaling a mountain, which is a cool design, as well as a measurement table in centimeters here. And a saw tool next to that, which is great for sawing off branches when you need to. On this edge is a blade for slicing up food and other items. It's also for chopping when you need the axe function. The axe blade is great for collecting firewood or if you need to remove a dead tree. The point of the shovel head can be used as an auto emergency hammer in case you're trapped in your car and you need an escape plan. You can also use the back of the shovel head as a hammer tool. It's great for hammering down a tent stake when you're ready for camping. This multifunction shovel comes with a 7 strand paracord. You can slip the paracord over your arm so it frees up your hands for another task, or use it for bundling and packing. The paracord is connected to the end handle. Twist it to the left and remove this piece of the shovel. Then, remove the end handle from the magnesium rod and whistle. The rod is used for flint, in case you need to make a fire. Be sure to scale off the black antioxidation coating on the rod first. The whistle can really come in handy in dangerous situations. The next part to unfasten is the tactical knife. There's a smooth cutting edge and a bottle opener next to that, as well as dual serrated blades on the other side. Right now, the shovel handle and head are at a 180 degree angle. You can choose to completely remove the shovel handle from the head or simply loosen it to adjust the multifunction shovel to act as other tools. Once the handle is loose, make sure the washer isn't touching the locking points. Then angle the handle downwards until the washer can lock onto the points at the 85 degree angle. This angle will turn the shovel into a hoe. The last angle at 30 degrees will turn the hoe into a hook. Once you have set the desired angle, tighten the handle back up. There's even a hole for a wire cutter here. When you're ready to pack the shovel up and take it on the road or neatly store it away, detach the end handle with magnesium rod and whistle and tactical knife from the other handle that's connected to the shovel head. Be sure to slide the protective cover over the tactical knife so you don't cut yourself. Next, slip the shovel head into its own protective sleeve and secure the Velcro straps into place. There's also a Velcro handle on the back of this cover and the blade pouch is made of stiff and durable material. Twist the shovel handle to the left until it's loose enough to be angled so it's parallel with the shovel head. Then place the shovel pieces inside the individual pockets of the included carry bag. Velcro the bag shut and buckle it so nothing will fall out. On the back of the bag are two Velcro straps just like the one on the back of the shovel sleeve. There are also two plastic loops for attaching a shoulder strap. Hook the strap onto the carry bag like this on both sides, and you can even adjust the length of the strap for your comfort preference. This 5Joy portable multifunction backcountry rescue shovel is a must-have for the great outdoors, or if you just want to do some digging and other work in your own backyard. That wraps it up for this look at the 5Joy portable multifunction backcountry rescue shovel. If you wish to know where to purchase, be sure to check the link below. Thank you for watching!